Hey, I'm sitting here with a really old friend of mine, Ed Christopher. I go back with this guy from Disco 40 Days. And when Ed Chris 40 Thieves Days, and Ed won the, the 24 hour disco marathon, the first one we ever had. And, 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 yeah, yeah, you were there, and, uh, and you won it with who was your partner? Rami. No, Wasn't it Rami you won it no, with? with um, Eugene Simmons wife, but I don't forget oh, that. Oh, right. Yeah. But, okay. And was was Rami in it as well? Was he with a partner? or? Yeah, um, Rami was in it. it was a lot yeah, of a lot of people in it. it. Okay. The first one was a great one. Oh, great. Yeah, no, it was great. 24 hours dancing nonstop. So, anyway, from dancing to uh, 216, and Ed, I'm so pleased to see that you come out in support of equality and marriage equality. And, um, you know, What's your journey been like on this subject? I mean, going back to when you were a young guy to how you feel about it today. I don't know if anything has changed in this time as far as my feelings because everything that I've been involved in has been about, it's been love. It's been about giving love, actually being respected, giving respect. And in order to get respect from the way I might think, you had to give respect. So it all started from a, a young age of giving and accepting. And um, you couldn't be in a field of... Uh, of, of, of embracing people the way that I embrace people or that way people embrace me without being open to what they have to give. Right. And it's a Bermudian thing. We wanted to, oh, this is basically about Bermuda now. Bermudian thing is giving. And, you know, you give and receive at the same time. So, and all, all uh, islands based on love. Yeah, and you know, I think you would agree with me that, you know, we're, we've been entertainers uh, of some form or other uh, all our lives. I mean, you know, how you evolved into from where you were to prestige with, with uh, you know, Preston and how I evolved from, you know, running a club to playing for a living, you know. <laughs> I mean, but but entertainers have always been far it, it, more liberal, feel, right? It is. It's, you've been open because as an entertainer, you entertain everything and it takes all. What people are afraid, I, my personal view is uh, people are afraid of their inner selves because... You know that old adage of empty vessels make the most noise. Is people make noise because they're afraid of something, and um, I think that they, people are afraid to embrace that part about themselves that envelops that allows others in, and we got to get away from that. Yeah, and you know the thing I was talking to Adrian Beasley this morning, hmm. who's been one of the sort of driving forces in the movement. I know you know Adrian. Yeah, I well, know Adrian from, from right? a kid. Man. And, he was a kid uh, yeah. But the thing is, uh, he was saying to me, can't you feel the movement? Can't you feel how this is gathering such a positive uh, force? I mean, when you open up the paper this morning and you see that, you know, um, Sir John Swan has come out. And, you know, and John Swan, and uh, I haven't read his editorial yet, but I kind of know that, you know, I know the story about Sir John um, going back to when he voted against the Stubbs bill. and and how he's changed his thinking. And you know what? You know who, who I think the world owes a debt of gratitude for really changing people's mindsets is the President of the United States, President Barack Obama. Yeah, cause because he once was not for... Against, right. Yeah, and he changed his mind, as did Hillary Clinton. I was talking about Jeff, with Jeff Souza the other day about this. And it's fantastic, isn't it? It's great. It's a knowledge. Knowledge is great. As people get to know more things about people. That this, uh, well, first we've got to get off this editor about somebody that has a choice. Nice. This choice thing has is, is got to be thrown out the window. You know, it's not a choice. They, the people who had a choice, they, they'll take the easy road and just be something. Right. Right. You know, it's not a choice. It's not easy being. It's not easy being. We're making it hard by trying to find a way to accept humanity. We right. are humans. Come on, people, right. embrace humanity. That's what it's all about. That's how I feel. That's my heart. Now, I'm not telling you what to do or anything, but I'm just telling you how I'm feeling. And I think that everybody is out there trying to think that, trying to find a way out of something. Bermuda, this is us. We embrace things. Let's embrace people. Let's make this, this island's about love. Well, yes. why we want to push love away? Why we want to put people in a corner so that they have to come out fighting it and not feel a whole self, not feel a whole of themselves, can be express themselves because afraid of being, a, 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 you know, afraid of being attacked, afraid of being uh, um, put in somewhere in the media where they can be downgraded as a person and stuff. We, 
uh, we're good. We're, we're better than that. Right. We're and better. you know, the time has really come. I mean, when you think in terms of, uh, you know, the journey of America and how far it's come. And, I mean, just go back 100 years. Then. <laughs> I mean, Lord have mercy. I mean, you know, back in the 60s, what was going on with civil rights in America? What was going on when we were growing up in Bermuda? It was like, you know, OK. Oh, did you hear this? Uh, white guy's going out with a black girl. And hey. I go, oosh, oosh, oosh. You know, it was like, you yeah, know, we shocking. Grew up, I grew up you in know, a little was, bit of segregation and yeah, then and and it's like, and white can't be with black and all that stuff. It's nonsense. And I've defied the odds all over my life, so why would I stop now? <laughs> <laughs> Ed, I love you, man. On that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Yeah, no I, and what we're going to do on uh, June the 23rd, we're going to vote. Yes, and yes, and just in case you didn't hear me, yes, yes! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.